Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. Today we're driving over to my brother's place and we're gonna be working on his Audi S4. He bought some sort of front grill, I have yet to see it, um, and supposedly it's gonna be a pretty heavy job. So we're uh, basically here right now, let's check out the car and the grill and get this install underway. Alrighty, so here is the car. Here's the front grill. As you guys can see, this is what we're gonna be replacing today. Uh, he doesn't like silver on the car. Obviously the car's silver, the wheels are silver. We gotta get some black on this. So let's check out the grill. Pull it out. Look at that. You wanna hold this up for them? Yep. All right, so this is the black grill that's going on the vehicle. Here, let's put it side by side. Yeah, so this is what, like a honeycomb design? Yeah, so it's the RS style. It actually had the RS4 logo, but I took that off because this is not an RS4. Wait, is this the exact same logo or exact same grill as the RS4? Very, very similar, but pretty much yes. Nice. Okay, so that's going to be replacing all the silver bits. Yeah, it's way, way too much. That's going to be really interesting. I want to see how this looks once it's on the car. So, I think this is going to be one of the most technical things we're going to do, first of all. No. Yeah. Not worse than the diffuser. Remember I think the diffuser it is. on the BMW had th electrical work. I think it will be. All right. All right, so there's What's three. What's planned? Torque screws, T25s, one, two, three. And then I'm gonna pull this liner back. There's one more in there. And then one of those plastic uh, bits that are an absolute pain to take off. Yep. And then we're gonna go to the other side and do the same. So I'm not taking the wheels off because that's just extra work I don't wanna do. Yeah. So I've turned it to the side. We're gonna go to the other side, do the same. And then we're gonna do everything else and we'll put it up on the ramps. Sweet. So we just went ahead and pulled off this uh, this liner here. Turned the wheels obviously to have easy access to it and we pulled out a few torque screws and uh, also this one plastic bit that was a little bit difficult to pull out but you kind of have to use pliers to get it out. So as you can tell, we are now on the ramps. We did a little bit of finagling to get it on this angle but we got it up here, hood is open. We're gonna pry off this guy now. Yo, are we putting a bigger turbo on it or something? Oh my goodness, on? I wish. Beautiful cat. You gotta get those. You gotta get those sport cats. In there I know. Eventually as I well. know. We need that power, but this thing first. So let's yeah. keep going. So this piece came off very easily. Just push this tab in, pop it straight off, and now we're gonna take this guy off. I believe you just. Oh, that was it. Okay. Pull this up. Easier done than said for for once. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Well, that was the easiest thing ever. Oh, nice. And torque your, screws. You got your rad here. Yep. You got the intercooler down there. Now the easy part, four screws. Finally, for once, we have somebody doing some work. How many of them are there? Seven? It's seven, but honestly, I'm not even removing them. I'm, I'm basically sunbathing down here, bro. Love it. It's real nice and warm. It's like a sauna. Love it. Getting closer and closer. Okay, so we are now pulling the bumper off. We just pulled the sides. And what'd you say we have here? Dude, <laughs> that fly just got destroyed. Oh, man, I feel bad for him. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I think he, wow. might been, he might have been stuck in there for, for a while. This might have been since 2018. Brighten it up and as you guys can see, there's a couple wires here. One right here we may have to unplug. We got another one right here. A couple wires we're gonna have to unplug. All right guys, as you can see, we have the bumper off. At this point, we're just trying to unplug a couple of wires that are you know, being held onto the car. That way we can work on it very easily. Um, I think the last wire that we have on both sides is the driver assist. Um, so we're just trying to get that figured out and once we do, We'll be good to go. Alrighty, so we got the whole front end off. It looks kind of crazy without that on. We got what? Crash bar right here? Yep, we got the crash bar. You got this guy that needs to be changed. Yeah, you know this is the intercooler. Is... We're getting yep. an aftermarket definitely because that's that's a little baby, huh? Yeah, it actually really Definitely is. not good enough for the track or if we want to do some stage two tunes for this. Probably going to vinyl wrap the crash bar as well because it's going to yes. look kind of hideous with a black grill. Yep. And then take a look at this front bumper, guys. We got a lot of wires that we basically have to disconnect here all over the place Alrighty, guys we have the new grill here it looks so much better in black here's the old silver one we actually went ahead and took out uh the rs4 from the black one and we put in the s4 yes. into the black one that's carrying over from the uh from the silver grill that we have here obviously not going to put an rs4 uh thing on that that would no, be kind of stupid we're not about that life yeah we're not about that life so Putting that in and then we're gonna start the installation once again. We're still assembling the front grill piece right now, but we have, you know, the car basically fully dismantled. There's pieces all over the place. Um, and I actually just went ahead and vinyl wrapped the front crash bar black, just because once we have the black grill on this thing, it's gonna look really bad with a, a bright metallic silver crash bar. So we vinyled that with some black Avery Denison. Turned out pretty good. Obviously left the edges still silver, but you won't be able to see this, so it'll be totally fine. So it'll be the Audi that's tuned and the BMW right over there that's tuned we're gonna have to go ahead and raise both the stock and then once we tune both we're gonna raise them as well
well, it's going to be a really good time. So the worst part about transferring over some of these grill attachments onto the new one that we just got is the fact that we have to pull out the camera, we have to pull out sensors and transfer that stuff all over. And we also want to go ahead and uh, vinyl wrap all the silver bits on the actual bumper black. So quite a difficult thing and it's going to take us plenty of time as you guys can see we are losing some daylight it's been taking us a long time we're about five hours in and i'd say we're only about halfway done so we are still here it's about 11 o'clock you are wrapping that nice little edge there oh yeah and uh, tough job tough job yeah but hopefully it's gonna be worth it because we put a lot of work into this we are transforming um Honestly, the whole front of the car. Yeah. We're gonna be here all night, but honestly, once you guys see the end product, it's gonna look so good. Yeah, the car is still jacked up. You can just see it with the hood open. So hopefully we don't get robbed or something. All right, we have the grill here nicely buttoned up. I still have to do the sensors and the wiring, but this is pretty much it. I am psyched to be completely honest. Let me know what you guys think of this compared to the Chrome. I think it's night and day. Nestor's wrapping the yeah. black and then we're gonna put that back in. Uh, shout out to Can Auto Performance for helping us with this. This thing is beauty. Alrighty, we got the grill. Moment of truth. Putting it up to the box. Now, Ooh. do you wanna tell them how difficult this was? It's like 3 a.m. We've been at it since, what, 3 p.m.? Yeah, we've been at this for 12 hours almost. This is like, I'm excited to see this, but I'm beyond annoyed right now. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh yeah. I can't really see, but I'm sure it's- No, that looks good. that looks really nice. All Go right. ahead and drop it. Let's see if the connections work. So we're mainly worried about this thing right here. This is, what exactly is this? The, the camera. Front camera, yes. Yeah. So we're gonna plug this in, see if it works before we plug in everything else. Yep. Then we'll put it on if everything's working. Alrighty, here it is guys. Here's the final product. We just bolted everything on the car. How do you feel, man? How do you feel about it? Oh, I'm so tired. It's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m., I know. <laughs> this was a 14 hour job. Look. The grill is fantastic. It and does so look happy. great. I can't wait to see it tomorrow. And more importantly, I'm gonna put the Quattro writing on the bottom that we don't have there. And if I can, I'll put the S4 badge and I love it. But like, this is ridiculous. This is what, 12 hours? Yeah, this took us a long time, mostly because like so many of the clips gave us issues. We had some screws. We had to file down some stuff to make it yeah, fit. The camera. Kind of crazy. Yeah, it was too much tech. Just mostly because you have like, parking sensors over here you have a front camera that we had to file down right there a lot of tech on this car so it made the installation a lot more difficult all right guys but that is going to do it for the video thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed smash that like button subscribe for more daily car content we gotta have a race pretty soon between us huh we definitely do yeah so stay tuned for that guys and we'll see you in the next one peace